Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on Django. I really appreciate you joining me again. So you're learning with me as a DIPK learner. So today uh, we are going to talk about the second part of it in which we are talking about displaying data on the web page. So till now we have done, we have been doing everything on the PyCharm or we have been doing it in command prompt. We'll now be taking it to the next level and we'll be working on the web page. So here, um, these are the three steps that I'll be following today. Create templates to view fields from a database, create view, and then run the server. So uh, in, in, in some of the examples, we have already talked about creating the view then seeing it. So I have taken out some more time uh, or, or a different kind of an example. And this time I'm not writing down the code. I'm just showing you the code which is running. So the first thing that I am doing is in the templates, I've created one more page uh, or one more HTML page with the template in it. So in this, I um, have written down the page with the design. So this style that we have is uh, table DHTD border is one px solid black this will give us the border for the table as well as for the uh, table heading as well as for the table data so all of them would be in boxes and then uh, this I'm, I'm creating as a header for that table and uh, these are all the edges. so the table headings are these and then this is where I'm writing down the values. So I'm saying that I'll be getting an object of ABC, which would be of a um, collection type or it, uh, iterable kind of an object. And that I'll be iterating in this loop and I'll be writing down the employee's first name, employee's last name, mobile, DOJ and MOB. The same thing that we uh, completed yesterday for writing it down. And this is the for loop. So for each row of data, it will, fill it in the table and then it will go to the next value. Now, in order to feed the value to the template, we have to create a view. So that was the previous view that we were working on. And uh, that's where I have said, uh, first thing is I've imported the my demo object from the models. Then I've taken up all the values into the employee and I'm passing this employee variable uh, the, the employees, which is a collection of all the values uh, which are there in the database into an object which I'm naming at as ABC. And this is the same thing which I'm passing in here in the ABC and it will display the value there. So that is the two things. And then I'll run the command, which is UI my, uh, manage dot ui. Uh, run server. So when I do this, you will see uh, this will run and it will give you this page. And when I come here, I can refresh this page and I see the same value. Even I can close this, open up another browser, and then I paste it and run it. I'll get the table of form data there. So that is all that I wanted to show in this demo. So um, that was the thing that we talked about. And before I go to the thank you, these are the references that I've been using. I've been, I've been taking everything from W3 school. So that is the main flow that I'm using uh, to work on. These are the other sites from which I've taken examples or I've tried to learn uh, on various different things. So with that, um, I thank you and thank you for listening and learning with me. I hope we have moved a bit forward in our learning. To contact me, write in YouTube comments or email to uh, devklearner at gmail.com. Thank you. Good day. Bye-bye.